Welcome back, class. Come in, have a seat. Join me for some more Dawn of War 2. Last episode, we secured Angel Forge, helped close the gate, and uh, held the line against Tyranids and Orcs alike. Now, if you remember, if you watched the last episode, we got a message talking about how Governor Vandis actually has something hidden in his stores that uh, the Orcs really want, and it would be dangerous to let them get it. Um, let's check it out and see what it is. Commander, you must return to Angel Gate. We cannot allow the Greenskins to acquire the weapons contained in the storehouses near the gate. If the Eldar smuggled the Orcs onto Meridian as you suspect, it must have been for a purpose. Deploy your squads to rejoin Tarkas at Angel Gate. Alright, pretty simple. Let's get into it. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, I've been recording on weekends and releasing sporadically, so I hope that's worked for everybody. Uh, it's hard sometimes to get home and uh, record and actually play some other games uh, that I've been playing with my friends. So Greenskin, hope Sternal, it's working. Heading for the storehouses. You get, boys. Boss wants you to get the Yumi signy us bits. Ooh, I love being a looter. Now we can get the best bits. So if you remember, Tarkus went ahead and we don't have access to him this Reopen mission. Reopen the gate. Reopen the gate? What? The orcs are already at the storehouses, Commander. Let's join up with Tarkus and get to that storehouse. Looks like we have some help, Commander. We need to move up quickly. Oh, well, we got all five squads. I like it. Let's get Cyrus to take this. Capture. Ah, them goobies closed the gate again. Weapons ready. Advance. Let's pop Avidus in this building because maybe he'll get a good advantage on the other side. And save with Tarkus. Move these guys up. Objective taken. Cyrus here, maybe. Be vigilant. Oh, okay. Looks like there isn't anybody there. Pop him out. You know what? Let's uh, use their infiltrate and see what's up there. Okay, they're around there. Throw some mines there, maybe. See what happens. Oi! It's them Ubies! Our boss says the buggies will keep them busy! The buggies? Interesting. Okay, let's get in here. I don't want to destroy this because I think I use it later. Jump him in there. Okay, then I'm gonna put Avidus in here. Force commander, get you here. And stop infiltrating him. Place some mines in different places. Let's capture it. this storehouse. Now, I don't remember where uh, they come from, but I do remember we have to defend it if I'm right. Maybe I'm not, but who knows? We've used all our mines anyway, such as life. Let's capture the storehouse. Why are you not capturing it? Anymore? Oh, okay, we're decapping it from the orcs. Super exciting gameplay. Oh, right in the middle of them. I 
I love that. I love the jump pack stuff. These are relics of the chapter. Those items match the descriptions of relics long lost to the chapter. You should secure them and await extraction. Wait, we do have to defend them. So I gotta get Avidus out here so we can get some turrets up. I don't think they can come through here. Can they come that way? They probably could. And uh oh. Oh, it's falling back. Okay. Maybe not. Uh, Thaddeus, use your crack grenades. Avidus. Put one more down right here. This tank didn't, didn't uh, take much, eh? So that's a little hint at what's coming. Uh, if you recognize what that is, I'm not going to say. But I'm sure you guys know. This is actually a really cool part in the campaign, I thought. Make for the forge works. Let nothing stop you, Eldar. Angel Gate is under attack. The Eldar. The witch, Idranel. It must be. Can't get a fix on him. Return fire. Return fire. Commander, we'll need your help to repel the attack. This warehouse is full of relics stolen from our chapter. Your governor is a thief as well as a coward. I couldn't agree more, Sergeant. But the fate of Meridian still rests on holding Angel Gate. Green skin reinforcements. She is right, Commander. We cannot allow Angel Gate to fall. I will hold off these aliens and guard our Okay, let's move. Let's get to Angel Gate. Or the Emperor. Do I have everyone selected? I do. Okay, good. Hostile movement up ahead, brothers. Push, let's go. It is done. Move on. Okay, we gotta take care of these warp spiders clearly. It feels like I'm doing more damage today and I don't know why. Oh well. Alright, let's roll. I want everyone to go. We're gonna have to retake it. This gate actually features in the expansion too. It took firepower to do this. Come, humans! It is the day of your deaths, and I am your executioner. Let's zoom in a little bit on the action. Nice. It does seem like my units are doing more damage. It's probably just, uh... Pin down! Ooh. Here. You will not Let's get a satchel charge in there if we can. The detonation. detonation. They mean to destroy the forge! I hope they, the uh, Eldar plan gets explained. I can't remember it. Like, why are they weakening us if they're worried about the Tyranids? And are they worried about the Tyranids? Because if you remember in the last episode, they talk about burning stuff to ash and cinder, so that could imply another threat, perhaps. Mayhaps. Alright, 
I mean, actually, uh, oh. Yes, the plans were correct. The forge's power supply is unstable. A simple chain reaction will wreath this world in fire. Intranel, your wounds. The humans press in. Suffering and I are old friends, Warlock. See to the humans, and I will enact our final gambit to protect the Croft world. My retinue's wards will keep me safe long enough. Of course, Intranel. Eldar! So what I was saying is I just finished uh Defender at all costs Just finished Angels of Death on um Commander, we are experiencing massive power fluctuations. Oh, that's not good. Whatever is happening there, you must stop it. Just finished Angels of Death on Warhammer TV. It was quite good. I enjoyed it. Uh ooh, ambush. Let's go get in there. Force Commander, do your thing. You jump here, disrupt them. Uh, it was fantastic, actually. I could not think. I uh, like it was exactly what I wanted it to be. So, if you get a chance, check it out. It's called Angels of Death. It's on uh, Warhammer TV. I also did watch Interrogator, which was pretty good. Like I get what they were going for. Uh, like kind of like a Sin City type dark noir story um, but it wasn't as good let's finish this guy with the crack I also realized I used my bolters before uh, I could use my um, on defending the thing because I thought it was more I forgot that there's a boss fight down here whoops There we go. Uh, so yeah, I highly recommend it if you have an opportunity to see it. Angels of Death does a fantastic job exploring like uh, Blood Angels lore and Assault Squad is let's ready satchel to this. Jump to that position. Blood Angels lore and like the prequel does a really cool job with the. Uh, Who will pay dearly for his loss? Oh, I gotta kill a ranger. Um, so it's really good with like machine spirits. If you don't know what that is, a machine spirit is essentially any any machine in the Warhammer universe has what's known as a machine spirit. And uh, some are more angrier than others and, and to, oh my gosh. Um, and to kind of operate those, you have to Commune with the machine spirit and stuff like that. Like even a last rifle or a last gun has a machine spirit that you have to like calm if you want it to work, which I always thought was a kind of a cool thing. In Warhammer, I'm gonna retreat these guys so they have uh, reinforcements. Um, so it does a really neat thing of that. It uh, focuses, well, I won't tell you what the enemy they focus on is, but it's pretty cool. Um, at least I thought so. Uh, so check it out. I'm going to watch The Exodite next. I think it's about the Tau. Uh, and then I'll be caught up on all the Warhammer animations, which will be neat. But then it's like, why keep subscribing to Warhammer Plus, you know? But that's okay. Looks like they're giving us some... Uh, oh. Eldar Grav Tank. Fire I think we class. used too many of our uh, stuff. Too much of our stuff. Now. Kill this guy with a crack. I'm gonna secure that. I also, it's frustrating how much people sit in this game, how much your units sit, you know? Grab that. Come on, Cyrus. Also might have been a good idea to bring a uh, hey, this guy's getting messed up. Cyrus is down, not great. Come on. 
That's just a strong gun. Victory point. It is done. Move on. And we'll bring up Cyrus. I'm also reading the Sanguinius Sanguinus. Our foe is however you would say it. Um, them heading out. Uh, Primark novel. If you haven't read the Primark novels, they're really good. I kind of wish that they just orders. did the Primarch's backstory. I know that, um, let me put Cyrus in here so he doesn't get hurt. Going in, brother. Um, I know that it doesn't necessarily, like, like a lot of people know their backstories, but like, it's just cool to read a book, an actual book and not like a Wikipedia page about their backstories, you know? So this battle is going to be a little bit more tougher, I would think, because we don't have those turrets to drop. Now, is Cyrus able to get her at least? Looks like he is. So he's good there. So he'll heal up here. She's got a lot of health. She's got 57,000 health. That's a lot. We have like 400. Yeah. There's focus fire. Keep your distance. More of them. Kill them all. So, but I would say of the animations, if you get Warhammer TV, Hammer and Bolter is really good. It's like a blood, death, and robots type thing. Uh, where is she? Let's take it. She's going to come back in, I'm sure. Um, and Angels of Death is also fantastic. Um, I really enjoyed it. The lip syncing is off a little bit, but it's the whole thing was great. Um, I don't want to ruin the story too much, but it covers a lot of different things within, like, Space Marine chapters and stuff like that. With that, I really appreciate it. None may harm the Bossia so long as we live. I wish, uh, Thaddeus had some more... What's this? Oh, that's good. I should be using that. Is Cyrus even contributing? Yes, yes, okay. Thaddeus got hurt. I'm gonna pull him back. You know what? I'm gonna. Wa oh, she's back already. Merciless strike, see what it looks like. Ooh, I like it. I forgot about that, I think. Cyrus doesn't really have any views. There's some banshees somewhere. Focus fire with Avidus. War cry with our force commander. We just keep trying to use our abilities as best we can. This is definitely not good. Okay, we're gonna have to like focus down one. We need support. Understood. Hold fast. Oh, and here comes Darkus. Reporting for duty, Commander. I stand with my brothers out. Focus him down. Thaddeus, you gotta fall back again, buddy. Where did it come from? They were the centerpiece of Bandus's collection. Now let us finish with these Xenos. We can get Cyrus out. Maybe drop a mine right here. Or something. Heal people up. I'm gonna pull Avidus back. Bring Thaddeus back. Jump to that position. So that mine really helped there. War cry it. You just 
want to focus one down at a time, I would think. Do your explosive attack here on this guy. There we go. Now we still have to take care of Indranel. Wherever she be at. There she is. Light her up, everybody. War cry. Focus fire. Attack. Tarkus doesn't have much. But. Oh, need to heal. Oh, get out of there. Oh, no. She's attacking there. Cyrus, you fall back, buddy. Let's go, get her. Savage short people? Tarkus is. I'm gonna pull Tarkus back. Bring Cyrus back to do some damage. Oh, we got her. Maybe. No, not yet. Remarkable. I had that surprise lost to me. What a wondrous lesson to come from such primitives. I wonder if the bloody-handed god will teach you anything in turn. Why, witch? Why seek to doom these worlds? You never asked yourself. Where this high flint was bound for next. Unless we stopped it here, it would next feed upon Eldar. Surely even you can see. Three human worlds was a small price to pay to save a craft world. Save your excuses, witch. Angel Forge is secure, and your life is at its end. So that kind of perfectly encapsulates who the Eldar are. Sure, we'll uh, give up three human worlds for a craft world. And if you are Eldar, you would understand that, really. So our fury works good, our speed was meh. We don't get an extra deployment, but we do get tactical armor, which is huge. Sorry, not tactical armor. Tactical dreadnought armor. Commander, I commend you on your leadership in this crisis. You have made very significant progress in your battle with the High Fleet. And the death of Idranel has finally put an end to Eldar operations in the sector. I hope it has, Captain. But I am not so certain. Regardless, securing Angel Forge means we now have a means to produce weapons for our battle against the Tyranids. We still lack any real capability to attack the High Fleet proper, however. Continue your attempts to recover data from the Tech Priest's array on Typhon, and your efforts to cure Captain Thule. Only when we uncover a weakness in the High Fleet and have the necessary biotoxin sample can we put Angel Forge to work for us. Angelos out. And thank you for saving Meridian, Commander. I have issued a warrant for the former governor's arrest and confiscated all of House Vandis' holdings. We will conduct a thorough search for any additional Blood Raven relics. You should find my administration to be much more cooperative. DeRosa out. Okay, so we got Terminator armor, tactical dreadnought armor, uh, which is awesome. Um, we're getting attacked here. We missed an optional mission. We should have played that beforehand, but we'll do this one. Uh, just quickly uh it's a defend mission but let's let's look at our guys what we got so we have tactical armor that tarkus for the force commander thaddeus and avidus can use now if i remember correctly if i give him tactical armor he can't jump into battle as quick okay which isn't ideal but uh we'll keep him alive let's give him a flamer let's see what happens um i've never really used those so this will be fun to try out uh, Thaddeus, 
Anything better than what you have. This is a bit better. This is better. We're gonna recycle these to get some XP. How about your armor? Nope, don't like that. Plus three melee skill. 64 energy health. He needs more health. Let me get rid of that. Also, those of you that know the hobby and stuff know what these are for something that's coming. Um, kind of ruins the surprise, but such is life, you know? Uh, this can only be used by the force commander. I'm going to leave it on him. Keep it just in case. Uh, ch -ch -ch, force commander is leveled up. Let's... Ch -ch -ch, you know what? Let's get some energy. So he can have some more stuff to uh, use or whatever. This is better for him. Get rid of that. Let's see, Cyrus. Is this a better sniper? It is. We'll get rid of that. And Avidus, let's level him up. Let's keep increasing his damage like that. Okay, now I remember last time I talked about I wanted to bring Cyrus on a mission. That was a defense mission instead of Thaddeus. Because I just want to see how he can help out. Now, I'm hoping with my tactical armor, Dreadnought armor, I can... Oh, I don't have to go and capture another shrine. So let's try this out. The Eldar are closing in on one of our automated foundries, Commander. This appears to be part of a campaign of sabotage directed at the sector's manufacturing facilities. Losing the Foundry would compromise our ability to respond quickly to distress signals. We must protect that Foundry, Commander. Okay, so I, what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to go back to Avidus, and I'm going to equip, equip a rocket launcher, just because we'll have so many bolters out there with the tarantula turrets and stuff like that. I think we'll be fine without it. Does Tarkus not have the tactical... So Tarkus found the tactical armor, and I just took it from him. Well, I am the, I am the Commander. I should be allowed to do that, right? Like, it's... It's my stuff. My stuff is your stuff. And your stuff, or not, no, your stuff is my stuff, but my stuff is my stuff. Yeah. What would the Eldar want with a foundry? Suffice it to know that they Kate, wish let's, it Oh, it's only giving and us if one. We fail to we'll pop the one there. Powering the foundry, they will have it. Pop one here. Pop one here. And then pop one more. Over I don't like that. Like right here. Do this. Okay, so they're coming from there. Get you in cover. Brothers, fire. The Emperor's light is my torch. Get Tarkus out here. Call some Artie down just for some fun. I'm gonna mine this place. Because I think they might come from there eventually. Uh, get up here, Tarkus. Come on, get into the fight. So these missions are super exciting, I know. Um, let's get a grenade in there. Move forward and kill these guys. Let's grab a mine down there for fun. Move quickly. Kill this thing. Center, see where it's coming from, look for the arrow. Coming from the same way, okay. Actually, you know what? What happens if we do this? Or actually, you go in there. And then Tarkus. See, no, we want them in range of the tarantula turrets. I kind of messed this up. Oh, Tarkus. Oh, Tarkus and Avidus can be in there. I like that. And put Cyrus in over here. Oh, 
Ready to use Cyrus's mind zone. We'll lay some mines down and then we'll fall back. So that's one downside of uh, having him have a main main range weapon is all he does is range when he I've spec'd him out for melee. Fall back, fall back. Let's get you guys out of here. Have you fall back? I want them to run into the mines, and I want to use the trench of So in the future, I now I know to put him up here, right? They're not really following my orders very fast, so we'll follow them back. There we go. Now we can get into it. Oh, my mouse is dying. I gotta do a quick swap. So I'm, I'm thinking of, I don't have the best computer ever, everybody. Um, but I'm really thinking of maybe showing you some Star Citizen, if you're interested. I would have no idea where to start, and, uh, but, uh, I don't know. I think it would be neat. I love Star Citizen. It has so much potential. And they're coming from here again. So I used all of my considerable uh resources and they're all coming from the same spot awesome oh the sniper suppressed them immediately that's pretty cool ah but this looks focus fire your group you toss a grenade in them hopefully we can get a couple of them before they nice I don't know. Do you think Cyrus is helping more than he's hurting? Do you think, uh... Well, he seems to be doing all right. Command. Okay, I want Avidus to focus down that guy. See, the rocket launcher is so strong against tanks and stuff. See? It's just perfect, you know? Well, not necessarily perfect as he just missed one, but, uh... Let's 4A forward. Because this is the last crew, so let's just light them up. War cry it. Get these guys. Flamethrower looks pretty strong. Like, I know we're... Everyone's shooting at it, but... Oh, final insult. Okay, please come from here. No! Uh... All my amazing preemptive planning. And that's what happens. And by amazing, I mean mediocre. You know. See, just one sniper suppresses them, and then they... That's actually pretty strong. I might have been wrong about Cyrus. Just look at that. We're funneling him into so much bolter fire. We're getting so much Dreadnought armor before it's even been revealed that we're getting a Dreadnought. But I think you, you, uh, the same happens for the Terminator armor. You go down different ways. The, uh, oh, there's the big boss. Let's focus down the side things first. Uh, Tarkus, 
grenade would be useful up here. Come on, Avidus. Why aren't you attacking this thing? The big giant tank that you're here to destroy. Why are you meleeing it? Why? Are... Okay. We'll let that happen. Oh, that's cool. That well that done, uh, judgment of the con. I wonder the if it's tied to uh, and under our to uh, the white scars. Zeal and fury are rewarded with victory. Oh, and the Fang of Fenris. So it's got to be tied to the uh, space wolves, or the or are they called the Volca Fenrica, something like that. So there's a lot of little things here that hint at the bigger universes, which is what dropped me, draw, drew me in for sure. Do I get two? No, oh, that's too bad. Um, that's the cool thing about the Warhammer is we are it teases you with information they do not uh, about other technology. things that make you more interested and get you more into it. At least that's what happened to me. Um, Looks like we're going to have to travel to a different planet next episode. I'm glad you joined me. It's good be playing it again. Um, and uh, I hope you're enjoying it. Thanks, everybody. Class dismissed.